Just in case you ever came and you didn't know where you were mid-set, it's on the plates. That could happen. Yeah. This mobility is very good. Ready? Not just the coach. Practice what he preaches. Right team, I know I mentioned him yesterday, but the guy I'm training with right now is Yami Tikkanen. And I feel like he's a very unknown coach compared to like some people that are very well known in the space. Ben Bergeron, Shane Orr, John Singleton. But he's been in the space for a decent amount of time and after spending a day with him, well, three or four days with him, he is super knowledgeable. And he this year is the coach for the Reykjavik team. He's coached Annie since 2010. He's now coaching Katrin David's daughter. He's been coaching BKG for a good few years. Henrik Hapalainen, the games athlete from Finland. And he's a research buff, like he loves research and all the stuff that's going on in current physical affairs. So yeah, I just wanted to give him a shout out and to say it was fun training with him. Uh, this is what Annie had to say about him and then enjoy the rest of the video. There's some amazing stuff coming up in this video. Smash that like button as always and uh, tell all your friends about it. You're all legends. You've worked with your coach, Yami, who we talked to yesterday with the cinnamon buns, but he's a very funny guy. Since, uh, <laughs> he's since finished. It took a while for me to get his humor, but he is funny. <laughs> he's since, worked on it. No. <laughs> since 2010? Since 2010, we've been working together. Since uh, regionals or semis or whatever it was called, 2010, he started programming for me. Um, yeah, and we've been working together ever since. Can he speak Icelandic? He can say a couple of words in Icelandic. Actually, like, uh, he's really good at pronouncing the sounds because we got like the rolling R's and and he can do that because of Finnish. So, and fun fact, the same word in Finnish and Icelandic is sukula rusina, and that's a chocolate covered raisin. So we found out. Yeah. I need a sukula rusina. <laughs> I can say one word. <laughs> so we found out very randomly that I can say a Finnish word and he can say an Icelandic word. <laughs> and now we can say it too. Ah, and yes. what better than a chocolate raisin? <laughs> Imagine yeah. if it was like fruit or something. Let's go. Here we go. I built up to the weight that I should have been working at today over the four sets. Sometimes when you're getting back into it, like it's just nicer just to work just under the percentages and maybe work up to one set of your percent that you should be, especially when it's a long set like that. This is your punishment for making Yami do the poor yeah. squats. There I was like, I'm going to do some snatches. He's like, I'm going to bench. I was like, okay, I'll come bench. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's most of my training is like that. Someone's like, I'm going to do this. I'm like, okay, sounds good to me. As uh, he's like, what do you? What's your max? I was like, I don't know. I hit 140 about 17 years ago getting the annual bench in you know you've got to do it once a year it's like uh, it just happens you know it's very un uh, unscheduled you all know it like the bench just happens once a year and it's this year it's come early you know you did it in Palmer you programmed the workout second time this year <laughs> yeah but that's like a heavy bench you know so my goal is to bench the 135 for two I tried the other week, but I failed twice. I got one and a half reps twice. You gonna go for it? He's coming for you, BK. Could I bench more with a belt? <laughs> you just never know. You never know. Anything to break again. Maybe I'll try. <laughs> if you hit it now, it's just one, one breath. Drive. <laughs> 
go, 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 go. Oh. Damn it. It's always uh, just the same. That was that was all him. The belt uh, does not help on the bench. <laughs> 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 10 strict chest to bar into 10 dips, but like three second negative, one second up. Then I shouldn't rush the dip so fast. Yeah, I like that. That sounds better. <laughs> you did that. That was good. <laughs> Real English post-workout drink. <laughs> and a bottle of water. With English breakfast tea. And a bottle of water. And a bottle of water. <laughs> this food looks amazing. Down bar. Hiking snacks. We're in day one, and today Carton has taken us to a like a lava flow. Obviously, it's not like the orange lava that you would expect, but it's dried up. And it's, this would still be moving. Like down there, at the bottom, you can see like a full-blown lava field, and you can still see the steam coming up. about Iceland, 25% of its electricity is made from geothermal. This moss is so spongy. It goes on for miles, look how much lava, like... And now you can start to smell like the sulphur, you know. A bit eggy. It isn't quite as clear it's not bright red lava, but you can see it. Take a look at this team. This is the volcano that we were just at in the clips, but in 2021, it began erupting on March the 19th and then officially was declared to stop erupting on the 20th of December, 2021. So it hasn't actually been that long since there was actual lava flowing, which is incredible. This spot here is about 25 miles southwest of the capital Reykjavik. And before 2021, lava had not flowed for eight centuries around Reykjavik. And for nearly 6,000 years at the actual eruption site, the clips that you're seeing right now. Another fun little fact about Iceland is that over 99% of the energy used in Iceland itself is renewable. As I said, over 25% coming from geothermal, 73% comes from hydropower, so all of the flowing water. Pretty incredible. So it's, it's a very magical spot. Hey look, high five pole. Thousand steps. Ten thousand reckons. Yeah. <laughs> that was actually me, your fan down the hill. <laughs> All right, so we're here in Iceland, and this has completely blown my mind, right? So I was like, I want a bag of salt and vinegar crisps. I just thought the brand was called Fish and Chips, and then I opened it, and I was like, Ooh, what is that? And so in there, there are crisps, right? And they're salted. with a fishy twang. And then there's actual pieces of dried fish. The crisp isn't even very nice. Full meal, ready to eat, no cooking required. Traditional dried Icelandic fish and handmade potato chips. I think it'll taste quite nice. Go on then. Can I have it with the chips? It's actually no, like fish and chips. no, 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 go on. Please? No, you have the fish and then you can get the chips afterwards. No, I don't like it. I'm not a massive fan of fish as it is. Okay, fish and chips. Mmm. <laughs> the verdict is it tastes exactly as it your f 
fucking hay fever does my head in. <laughs> it tastes exactly as it smells, <laughs> which is like powdery dry fish food. Delicious. Okay, so if you have aquarium fish team, you know the like little flakes that you sprinkle on the top? It literally tastes exactly like that. It tastes like, like that. Smells. One more day, we're just doing a little bit more exploring. From Reykjavik, we've actually come over the mountain. We're going east. And the first town over the mountain, if you go east, is where arguably one of the most consistent crossfitters of all time is from. Where he is from. This town to our left right now is where BKG trains and where he's from. Bit of a windy day for a walk. The hair is everywhere. <laughs> Go to Iceland, they say. <laughs> they should call it Windland. Stopped at this little cafe on our way to Adventureland. It's actually really cute. Figured out I could live off burgers. I love burgers. Whoa. What? This is wild. This is the this is the crashed aeroplane in Iceland. Jazz. This plane here crashed in 1973 on this, like, I mean, if you crashed here. It's a United States Navy DC plane. And the reason why it crashed is because it ran out of fuel. But apparently the pilot chose the wrong source for the fuel. So there was fuel on board, he just chose the wrong one. Chose the wrong tank. Yeah, cho chose the wrong tank. Everyone survived, but the wreckage is still here. It's a very eerie feel, isn't it? Look at all the wires. And if you look out onto the right, you'll see that we've lost our wing and we've crashed. As you can see, literally nothing around. Whoa. Another high five pole, they seem to have them everywhere in Iceland. Soup. Yes, it's an Icelandic meat soup. They do very good soup here. Yeah, and out there was the black beaches. Uh, there's a couple of photos, a little bit of a video. They nearly got me. Really cool. And really cold. <laughs> <laughs> I love this waterfall. This is my favourite one. It reminds me of like Jurassic Park or something. It is six meters high, 200 foot, and it is 25 meters wide. And an amazing fact about this waterfall is if you went under it, you'd get wet. 
remarkable, isn't it? If you stood under that, you would get wet. Team. Wow, look at the rainbow. You can literally see where it's touching the floor. No fing way. Look at that, it's right there. Right, team, we just busted a myth. There is no pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. Although there is a jazz. Holy shit, holy, holy shit, that's cool. That's really cool. Yeah, this is magical. Wow, we were. Good test of the coats, these walks. We're absolutely soaked and we didn't get cold at yeah. any point. Completely windproof. Yeah, buy one Very now. Warm. Yeah. This has just been a giant advertisement team. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the whole day. We're just completely testing these. If we coats didn't out. have a good coat like this, we'd be miserable. This is the end of the world coat right here. This is the, it does, it does everything. <laughs> it reminds me of Jurassic Park. <laughs> <laughs> I was just saying to Craig that instead of posing for the photo by the thing I should have hidden up behind the rock and come out like <laughs> Oh but that's that's just me. And Craig you should just be like my girlfriend ladies and gentlemen yes <laughs> Is she pretending to be a T-Rex? Yes, yes she is. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Back to the car. <laughs> <laughs> and it was at this moment Craig realised what he got himself in for. <laughs>